Grubhub. Oh, I want to talk about, don't, don't I want to talk about Grubhub because uh, Taylor has gotten oh, a. Oh my God! I need, yeah, I need to talk about into how way. Chiz and I live. Um, he has it's, he has seen it for his with his own eyes. I talked about it many times about how poorly I eat, um, and, and I don't think it really sank in with with Taylor the the amount of meals that there were or how shitty they were. So, so go ahead. It, just the us. amount of like, and this isn't. I'll preface it. None of this is a bad thing at yeah, all. It's just sure. I've never ever been with people who order <clears throat> meals like this and do it like this with Grubhub. I've, I hadn't used Grubhub before I came on this trip, so that could also add to it. I don't know how people do it, but the first night we're all sitting there and you know kyle orders something off grubhub chiz orders something off grubhub and i was like oh this is neat i pull up my phone and i order something off grubhub i'm gonna get some buffalo wild wings whatever the fuck i order a little bit later you know the people start showing up and you get it and i'm like this is an awesome service like this is fucking great they just show up with your food this is restaurant quality food right in front of me i eat it all i'm full i want to go back to playing magic the gathering i look over and kyle's food and chiz's food it's been dabbled with a bit it's been poked about you know it's been hmm uh, no thank you <laughs> and there's like there's like one fry and one bite missing from both meals you know maybe a couple bites and they're both on their computer again and i'm like what are you guys doing you, let's play magic we just ate you know we were waiting to eat so we could play magic and you're like oh no i'm ordering dinner and i was like we we just <laughs> ate do you not see you have your plate sitting right next to you all the food is here we've eaten Already. And you said, no, this is second dinner. And I was like, okay, this is a little goofy. They're just being silly. It's vacation, second dinner, whatever. That food arrives. And before that food It's a Lord of the arrived, Rings thing you wouldn't understand. Before that <laughs> second, before second dinner on the first night had arrived, both of them had decided that they needed an ice cream treat, I believe, and a coffee. And so there were three people driving around Denver, grabbing things for Chiz for and Kyle, bringing them there. We... And then when you do, when Kyle gets food from Grubhub, I've been using the comparison of like he eats like Robert Baratheon, where he just <laughs> sits back in his chair, food splayed out before him. Hand me a turkey leg. <laughs> I grow weary of this turkey leg. <laughs> Hurls it to the side, and you know, pot pie, pot pie, and pecans. And you get it, and you're, I don't, even, I won't even try that. <laughs> Take it away. You know, sushi. This rice is disgusting. Order it again. You know, it's, it was that level of thing. I was sitting there, and then like I feel almost guilted into it because our chiz would be like, "Hey, we're ordering third dinner." That's a term I've learned. We're ordering third dinner. <laughs> want to order anything and I, i'm like god no like I, I'm, not, I'm not hungry at all like one of the nights but you I will had, be but you yeah, will, I will be. be i will be because and then you guys you handle it in the most hilarious little back and forth like when both of you know that you shouldn't order grubhub anymore one of you will say something like enabling man ice cream sandwich sounds great right now and then whoever heard it would go oh yeah it would man I love it when they have chocolate and chocolate chips on there, and it's like between the cook. I bet they delivered that this time of night. And Kyle will be like, "Well, I'm sure there's a place," and then he'll <laughs> look it up. And before you know it, you're like, four ice cream sandwiches on the way." It's like four, <laughs> just in case you don't know how many so are going to melt. Three right services here. we use: we use Grubhub, we use Postmates, That's and we use um, Door DoorDash. And the co the combination of those three means that that at any time. They'll just bring you churros. They'll just bring you fucking... Can I have one of these? Oh, my God. What is this to dip them in? Oh, chocolate? Oh, no. It's some sort of... It's melted... It's melted honey or something. It looks I don't like, know what it is. Uh, it's melted. Uh, oh, sweet and sour sauce or something is what it no, looks it's like. No, it's just honey. Sweet and sour sauce. Just honey. Honey. <laughs> that would be... Oh, awesome. Just right to your door. Anything. <laughs> It is. It's very convenient, and it's a really cool service. It's just incredible watching an adult man order all of that stuff. What'd you? Oh, a churro. Would you like churro? I'm, I'm straight on churros. Thank you. <laughs> you want those churros? I, These are like I good churros. Not like last refreshed. night. As those refreshed churros. I thought you were eating the disgust. You guys have ordered. See, perfect point. Churros have been ordered to the house twice in the last what, 14 they just hours. Got here. I know, but you ordered churros last night, and you oh, said those they were, were gross. churros. That was a different churro place. This is brand new churros. Well, regardless, like the way that they eat on vacation, like you know how, like I don't, I, I admire it in a way. Like if it were an everyday thing, it'd be not good. But yeah. these two know exactly how to enjoy meals on vacation. 
with like you take one bite of something and if it isn't exactly what you wanted it to be not like this is pretty good no kyle will put that down and be like that's not what i wanted and then order a whole new meal just because that bite wasn't enough i guess yeah, i'm very particular about my meals each one has to be a celebration of life all right <laughs> we went to a restaurant and someone had bought out the whole restaurant and so the only seating was these high backed like bar chairs where you like perched and i was like that's gonna hurt my back i refuse to eat dinner here i would like my car back like that was it that was it. It was a whole planned evening out. But if I don't get to sit in like a booth, preferably like at Morton's where they slide the table out and you sit down in a cushy booth like the low lit room and they bring you hundreds of dollars worth of food, then I don't want to do it. I'm not going to perch over there by a loud ass bar in that chair like with my back aching. So we just I was left. thinking, Yeah, I was thinking about it more because at the time I was like, we just drove to this fucking place and we're not going to sit down because it's too close to the bar and too loud. But then... The more you think about it, this was supposed to be like the Wagyu, Wagyu beef or whatever, like mm -hmm. where you spend, what, $40 an ounce the, or something, something the, bananas. The, the, the steak was $130 just for the steak, and that's before you do anything else like sides yeah. and, and drinks and appetizers. And, and you are steak. right that if I'm going to spend that amount on a meal at a steakhouse, I don't want to be like perched up like I'm at B-dubs with like wings you know, with a lot of people around me at the bar, standing, TV on, loud. Like, it's just not a good environment for that kind of eating. So I guess it's for the best. And I, yeah, but, I, I feel but like I miss why good beef isn't a scam. Yeah, I'm not either. But, but yeah, the whole grub, the, the, the food delivery game is incredible now. If you live in a metro area where you could take advantage of at least one of those things, Postmates, Grubhub, or DoorDash, when you, I, I open all three, and we scan from left to left to right <laughs> all of the wonderful things that we can eat. They'll, they'll, they will deliver McDonald's right to your door, hot and fresh. Like they're fast. If you order McDonald's, some dude immediately gets notification. Get McDonald's. What Kyle is it called? Mac. Grubhub. Grubhub, yeah. DoorDash, and Postmates. They all are, are slightly different. Grubhub is more of a. Um, it, it, it's like it brings together all the restaurants that kind of already would deliver like pizza, wings, burgers, and subs. But Postmates, it's, it's, it, it just contacts this guy who like will go and get you anything you want. I feel like you could type into the special instructions, you know, get me a pack of smokes while you're at it or like get me a bottle of beer on your way past the 7-Eleven. He totally Get some it. weed. <laughs> hey, in Colorado. Yeah, I, I Colorado saw a video. Place. I saw a video where they did that, where um, they used one of these apps and they, they went like uh, – I'll pay you this much money extra if you can give me some weed. And then they went and delivered. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bet the Grubhub yeah. guy. Does now I know how to get it. To get <laughs> yeah. Mystery solved, Grubhub. Oh, you're, you yeah. just ask me. I can hook you up too, you know. I, I like the way, that eat way. Is they is they handle it, like the finding of the food by – like the way that I search for stuff if I'm ordering is like I want this. Oh, they don't have that available. All right, I'll find something else. Like – you guys will sit there with your laptops open like you're in, you know, the sex crypt crime unit in CSI, mm -hmm. like searching for things. And you'll be like, ah, Italian place, Don Favato's, three miles away. They do have toasted ravioli. They don't have linguine. <laughs> and Chiz will be like, all right, I'm drinking, waiting around that location. I have found Fizzano's North. We can order from there. The appetizers. Entrees from here. That's going to work great. You'll be like, all right, we're both going to hit the button at the same time to make sure the same Grubhub man delivers the food. And then they, <laughs> it's something they actually did. I thought you yeah. were joking. You guys were all sitting around, like, ready to order and, like, yeah. Separate orders, same Click. service. He gets it all in the same bag if it's prudent to do so. He won't leave your shit getting cold somewhere, but he will, if, if it's prudent, combine the orders into one bag, only one man. Everybody gets their food at the same time from different places. It's amazing. And you could get such, you're probably, if someone might be thinking, oh, it's wasteful. Yes, it is wasteful, but, but here's, the, here's the real bonus. You can get delivery from places like McDonald's and Subway, which is kind of the bottom tier. Last night, I ordered, uh, my girlfriend was starving, and there weren't many places open, and she didn't want pizza or wings again. I ordered a filet mignon and, like, garlic mashed potatoes and roasted garlic bread. And like they, they show up 20 minutes later with a hot like filet mignon wrapped in aluminum foil. And she's over there like, yeah, yeah, what can filet mignon delivered? It's amazing. I almost got raw oysters delivered one time. They had raw, li That's raw oysters far. for delivery. The place was like six miles away. I was like, how did raw oysters get in Colorado? Nah, 
I don't think <laughs> I want to risk it. I doubt they flew those in last night. Those are so Rocky I, Mountain. I envy those diets, Ooh. man. I, I I looked at the scale. I was unhappy with my number, and this is just like three days ago. Do you want to say your pub number publicly, or we'll keep that on the down low? <laughs> it's two fourteen. You, 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 you I hit two fourteen is my high. I don't like that number. And uh, yeah. uh, is that a new high? Uh, I think I think so. I think that might be the highest I've ever weighed. It's down one eighty six. Are you? Good for you. Yeah, so I, I, I want to lose 10 and then maybe more from there. But I've just cleaned up my diet recently. I've switched over to water. I've, uh, you know, eaten better stuff. And I hear you guys and it's like, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. But it's, uh, I, I don't want to point to the age thing, but it, it just, it's a little, it's easier to oh, pack yeah. on pounds. You know? I think that uh, when I get back, the, the, the memories of this trip are going to be a real motivator for me to like get my creatine going and get my, get my cardio going every day because this has been a punishing trip as far as ca caloric intake goes. I mean, it has been brutal. M at least three meals a day, every single day, and they were all big. And I normally eat like one or two maybe. We've been really killing it. Thousands and your deep and frying treats? I got the deep fryer out, you know. I, uh, I I use this other service called do called Instacart, and they bring your groceries to you. They bring your goddamn groceries to you, and the first order is free at Instacart. This, these aren't these aren't sponsors. They're just amazing. And I, I, I'm like clickety click, clickety click. Next thing I know, some peanut oil, some batter, um, you know, and 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 a bunch of candy is all showing up at the door. And and that night, I, I froze all the candy hard, froze some cheesecake bites hard, battered them, and deep fried them. They're fucking delicious. We're gonna deep fry some Oreos tonight after the show. I got I get them all frozen. Mega stuff Oreos. And while you guys were sleeping, I cracked them all open, combined the mega stuffs, and made double mega stuff. I <laughs> well that's that will certainly be something <laughs> something to witness later on. <laughs> it's coming. That's it's that coming. sounds delicious. Or you did your uh, you did a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh yeah, I, I mean that was uh, way better than I thought it would be. Yeah, deep that was fried peanut good. butter and jelly. Yeah, you don't even have to batter them because of the consistency of white bread. You just you just take a like a measuring cup, a metal one, or uh, one of those like biscuit cutters, and cut out the center of the bread. And you make your own uncrustable. Basically, if you've ever had that product, you take peanut butter and jelly and put a little dollop in the middle, and then you pinch around the corners. They're called pinch pies. Um, I that 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 YouTuber I like a lot. He had a recipe for them, and you just throw them right in the oil and fry them at like 170 degrees. But delicious. I didn't yeah. do a very good job of it. I, I haven't been doing a good job of cooking them because the oil's always either too hot or they're going in there too long. But I mean, it's it's melted chocolate covered in like a funnel pancakes. Cake. So yeah. yeah, pancakes. So it, it you know it's delicious no matter what. Lately, I've been like I point around. I'm like, oh, you know, like cigarettes, Adderall. These things are all great for your metabolism. They make you skinny. I'm like, the rest of this <laughs> fucking world is cheaters. They're cheaters. They get it so easy. You know, you need to take up smoking. You know, I was yeah. about to say, why do you think I'm skinny. so skinny? <laughs> I don't, I don't. I just do cocaine and water. So. Cocaine? <laughs> just cocaine? I'm not going to not do the coke. Uh, <laughs> you know, you've got a real cocaine and water physique. That's a very common yeah. food. I do not fuck with deviled eggs. I don't what? like them. Oh, it's I a do. Weird I love them. It's a weird That's part of Thanksgiving. I overeat deviled. If deviled eggs are available, if you, yeah, put, me it, too. If you put out 12 deviled eggs... <laughs> I'm sorry. Show. Rude Woody doesn't Woody. normally come out, but I might have eight of those fucks. <laughs> Dude, I love them so much. So they're not they're not all that they're they're fairly healthy. Like if you use uh olive oil mayonnaise, it's 50 calories per tablespoon. And eggs what are good kind for of world are you living in where most Little of these paprika? Fucks, you know, olive oil mayonnaise. It tastes good. Duke's olive oil mayonnaise. It's 50 Man, calories a tablespoon. You show up to Thanksgiving, nobody made that with olive oil mayonnaise, and we all know When that. I make them, I use the olive oil mayonnaise, cocksucker, all right? And they're delicious. I love, <laughs> I'll actually, <clears throat> if I'm somewhere and that's like, uh, you know, like a, like available little appetizer or something like that, I'm just doming them. But I'm very picky on the temperature. Yes. Oh, what I, like, have I like them chilled. Yeah, if it's too warm. I'm off it. I'm flexible. Yeah. yeah, if you put out 12 cookies and there's 12 people at the party, I take one, right? There's, there's got to be yeah. some for all of us. You put out 12 deviled eggs at that same party, you know this is survival of the fittest, right? Like, you're the fuck who eats too well, slow. Well, you don't want to boil the whole dozen? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if There's you guys didn't eat so slow, you get more. It's really on you, not me. You got some relish? I'll make some more. <laughs> uh, no, it's easy. Come on. I'm that guy with chicken wings. Uh, just okay. sit there and just like an animal 
Now, do you go after the wings or do you go after the drumsticks first? Do you do you pick your? Uh, I'm a I'm a wingman. I like the wings first. You eat that top part off, split it, then you got two bones. Bip bip. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I have don't a do different. The, I don't do the smush together thing because technically, with my fake ass teeth, I'm not supposed to eat food off the bone. But I don't care. I, I'm gonna. I don't to do smush. That. I do side on the plate. I just break the the tip off, right? Like not not crack it, but you push it a quarter inch or so. Now it's vulnerable. Take that vulnerable. thing out. It uh, you deep throat it, and uh, I get two naked bones on the other side. My friend was an award winning wings like competitive eater. To make it back to the dorms after a few too many. <laughs> my, that chicken wing is vulnerable. I had a friend from Buffalo on my hockey team, and he taught me how he won the Buffalo wing eating competitions in Buffalo, which I interpret to be the highest level of Buffalo wing eating competition. <laughs> right, right. That's that's just the freaking major leagues, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, what do you watch this?" And he's just like, "Quick," comes out, and it would pass inspection. Fair See enough. that? That's the way I eat crab legs. I haven't advanced that level with wings yet. I I like eating my wings a little little slower, which is still tremendously fast for a fat person like me. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah. Oh God, I. I'm so hungry now. <laughs> I'm so hungry too. And I still admire your uh, crab and lobster eating prowess. I'm sorry. Oh, dude, you, you sit down with me. The four of us sit down. We all order a pound, pound and a half of snow crab, a nice <laughs> starter for a meal. Mm-hmm. And I will be done with three pounds before any of you are done with one and a half. And I would bet my house on that. Here's why I, you're I mean, wrong. Actually, Here's why you're wrong. You because oh, you'll you shortly be lateral. saying this. Woody, you really <laughs> want me to crack it? Are you a child? Ch- okay. <laughs> you'll be opening my crabs, Taylor. See, I open they're... them all with my fingers except for the claw. Oh, well, that's the fastest way to do it. I do that as well. The only reason that you use that little fork is if you get a little bit of meat stuck in there high that gets torn away, and then you you, you wiggle it real quick. I just dip I it get right at the end. And I, I break it on um, obviously the easy way. You wouldn't break it long, you know, long ways. Mm. And then break it down once. And then instead of like going all the way back the other way, I just pull. And you get That's the whole you, thing of meat, you know, and you, and, and you, you just keep good. going. So, but you don't just crack in the middle. You find where the, the weightiest part is. Yeah. And then you pick an area slightly adjacent to that. And then you crack that Wait, area. Did I say that part again? That was valuable. So like, uh, so, like, you know, the uh, the crab leg part, the, the biggest, meatiest part where all the, the good meat comes out of. You you feel around where the weight is. If it's if it's middle of the road, pretty uniform distribution, you can go in the middle pretty fine, then crack up, spread, then you get it. If it's heavy to the right towards the body where the, the core of the crab is, which is common, you break a little to the side of where the, yeah. the heaviest part is. And then that makes sure that you don't split the meat itself and you still have enough room to grab the meat, pull it out of there. And always make sure you break the joints before you br- go on to breaking the, the leg itself. If you mm. leave those joint tendrils in there, those tendons, they'll make it so you can't pull it out enough, and it'll it'll cling to a lot of the meat. So always yep. break those joints, pull that shit out first. This is, if there was a way to write a PhD on this, I would have. <laughs> there's a place that I'm does like... This tomorrow now. There's a place that does low country boil really close to me. And so they do, you know, they'll do like a pound of crab legs. That's and, right. That's, uh, I have a place right across the street from here. And they'll do like, like, like boiled potatoes and like corn on the cob. Lotus and they'll cover root. it all with that Cajun shit. That, Ooh, that really hot loaded Cajun spice. Root. Yeah. And it, you, you, as soon as you open the styrofoam box, it's, it's Koreans. It's, they're, they're not Cajun. I don't know what they're, where they're coming up with this stuff, but, but it's, as long they, as the spice is right, who gives a she, fuck? Exactly. She, she's like, you want hot or extra hot? I'm like, extra hot. And she's like, don't you mock me. And then she like, si- she oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, so good. Definitely the best crab spice to put in there. Boiled, way better than baked. I've had people t- say, oh, oh yeah. you should bake your crab legs. Get, you don't even boil them. You you tell me them. that on social media, you're blocked. Fuck yourself. <laughs> So you don't boil Cajun seasoning. Ban anyone who, bo- who bakes their crab legs. I, uh, I, yeah, last time I cooked some, I uh, I ordered them frozen from Alaska, and they were enormous. I got the king crab legs. It was expensive. Oh, that's that's a miss. King crab? Not I as know good you as think crab. so. I, it's not as sweet, but they're enormous. And I really wanted, like, big 
fucking it came out like gigantic spiders they look like face hugger aliens yeah. and uh and i steamed those things and then i put that cajun uh old bay shit on there it was so fucking good god damn i'm so hungry i'm hungry yeah, too i haven't eaten enough i've had one meal today food. it's 11 p.m i've had one meal. you know what i, I can lunch. go some scallops man some nice buttery fucking scallops mm. so i like to do right scallops I, if i do scallops i cook them with a steak i do like surf and turf um I, scallops are scary to cook because you, you you know if you watch enough gordon ramsay you know you, you, it's either way too under or way too over or and then there's like a perfect zone that where there's like a 15 second buffer like if you pull them off 10 seconds earlier 10 seconds too late they're kind of ruined I've never made scallops. I didn't know that. I just know that when I go to nice restaurants and I get the surf and turf or I get just scallops as an appetizer. They take 60 wrapped, seconds to cook. Wrapped in bacon. Mm. Oof. Ooh, those are good. You, you, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a really good uh, international market um, not so far from me, and they have enormous scallops, like restaurant quality, huge fucking scallops, and 30 seconds each side in, uh, in butter, and they're so fucking good. They're so fucking good. You get them like golden brown on each side. Throw those things on a skewer. Put them next to a filet mignon. A little baked potato Ooh. action. How, how do you guys like your oysters? Do you like raw. them raw? Do you like them Rockefeller? Only raw. I like them raw the most as well. With uh, a little bit of lemon. I don't really like oysters. There's something mm. I eat just to prove I'm not scared of them every once in a while. But I, I see. I, I'm kind of somewhere there. Like I, I'll have these times where. I, I'm all about it, and it's it's really good. And other times, I'll like just gag thinking about eating them. Plus, the one time that I really got intensely food poisoned, like within the last eight years, was I just had an oyster, and like yeah. I went to the doctor because I was crazy fucking sick, and he was like, honestly, he's like, just one in ten thousand chance you just get a bad oyster. Nothing to it. It's just a bad one. Oh, I'll stick. take that risk. They're so. I'll good. take that risk too. Yeah, yeah I've been I, taking that risk ever since. I'm like, I already I, got I, my, I already got my bad oyster. It's not gonna I put a, again. I put, put them on a little bit of rye bread <laughs> and then the oyster, and not not rye bread, uh, some some kind of like toast salt. or something. You can put on there. come with like little saltines or like yeah. that little uh, Jew toast, whatever that's called. Uh, yeah, Jew mold, toast. I think, I think Jew toast is rye, but then you put a little little lemon, little Tabasco, and that thing is good to fuck. Yeah, go. I do lemon horseradish Tabasco. Horseradish, horseradish, or uh, or if they've got like spicy cocktail sauce, and I, I'll literally do a dozen of them before like a good meal. Like I'll just I, like I've been with people before, and they're like, "You want to get some oysters?" I'm like, "Yeah, I want a dozen." They're like, "All right, a dozen." I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. I I want a dozen. I I want a dozen of them, and I don't want to share my dozen. We should order more if you want one or two, but I want twelve of them." Like, like mm -hmm. there's nothing to them. They're probably like eight calories each. Yeah, well, it's definitely more than that, but there's also very little to them. Yeah, they're they're good as. What shit. do you say, buddy? Over and under ten calories on an oyster. If you don't over. say over, you're an idiot. Yeah, you're gonna say over. <laughs> I didn't know that Kyle worked at McDonald's for a week, so you have as much McDonald's experience as I had. No, you had more McDonald's experience than I had Ben and Jerry's experience. Oh yeah, like like in that week, I did a lot. Like if I walked in, like I, I did everything there is to do at a McDonald's. Uh, I never took or I, I take that back. I never took the orders or handled cash, but all the behind the scenes stuff. So I made nuggets. I made burgers. So like I cooked them. Um, I, I assembled sandwiches on the line, you know, and boxed them and slid them on down and everything. Um, you know, made apple pies, made uh, all the all the things that you cook. I, I did it one time or another. Uh, was it was it a awful? terrible job. Yeah, it was a terrible job. Uh, very dirty back there. I, I can remember taking the trash out and having like this gross slime on my hands and uh, telling my manager I needed to wash my hands, but him being like, no, you got to get on the line and just being like, but my hands, him like, the line. And I just made burgers with the most filthy hands imaginable because he That's told disgusting. me to. Uh, yeah. I mean, I had, it was garbage slime, you know, when that water smells really bad and it just probably got it, salmonella in it. I, it. I know a lot of people, I've met people in my life that owning a restaurant is their dream job. Right, you know, they know it's long hours, they know it's hard, but the restaurant is is the, the peak of what they wish they could do. Not me, man. I, I I used to work at a little grill, and the garbage was the worst part of it. I was low man on the totem pole, and I would have to handle that. And I wasn't very strong, so handling the garbage was like the peak of what I could do physically. And it was just such a freaking nightmare. And there's nothing grosser than restaurant garbage for me. I mean, it 
it's just so bad. I, I, does any other organization produce worse garbage? Than nursing a... home. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, checkmate. It's okay. a, a, just a matter of being better packaged. If you're you know? all, there's a person in there. <laughs> we, we, had, <laughs> we had a big issue. Like the garbage is always leaky and stuff. And we had to like transport the whole can to the dumpster. Because yeah. if you were to grab the bag and carry that to the dumpster, it would leak across the boardwalk and that you don't want that. a wheelbarrow. That. Wheelbarrow. Yeah. McDonald's garbage. Yeah. You would, there would be like multiple bags, like probably four to five big bags, like the big 50 something gallon ones. And uh, you'd throw them in the wheelbarrow and wheel it across the parking lot to one of those sort of enclosed dumpster situations and then bag by bag throw it in there. And I don't know, even at 15, I was about six feet tall. So they would make me do that shit because a lot of times it would just be me working with a bunch of girls or me working with a bunch of girls and that retarded guy they allowed to sweep the parking lot or some shit like that. Uh, I thought it was going to be a fun job. I had a couple friends that were working there and I thought, oh yeah, we'll be like, you know, singing songs while we throw pickles at each other. But no, nah, it was just super lame. My boss was such a goober. Like I was cooler than him even as a 15 year old working at McDonald's and I knew it. <laughs> he was just, he had married into like that McDonald's family. Like the lady who own, owns, who actually owns the franchise, right? Um, uh, sh he had married her daughter, so he had married into like some a little lo local Mickey D's royalty, and he thought he was hot shit. Shit, um, <laughs> yeah, right. No other like, oh yeah, guess. the money fountain has turned on for you, my friend. You're, <laughs> no, 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 the nugs are on me, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Oh, I stole so much food. Yeah. I would always like, like I don't even like McDonald's nuggets, but they were there and they were free. So I would have they weren't free. Packets. You stole them. Yeah, they were free for me. So I'd have like packets of nugget sauce, like open, kind of like tucked around behind shit. And I would just be like eating nuggets all the time. Or sometimes I would just grab a whole meat patty and, and like just, 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 I just thought it was great oh. to steal the food. So anytime I got a chance to steal some food, I would do it. I'd, uh, I would bake like two or three cherry pies and then go in the freezer and like fucking eat three cherry pies as fast as I could. I shit like a, that. I had a hook up at your McDonald's. Face like, they, your star, like Oliver Twist in the back, hoping they don't catch you <laughs> as you're slaving over hot stuff. I had a friend who worked at McDonald's, and he um, he worked the drive through Big, strong guy. And uh, we'd go, and we'd order, like, a small fry. You know, and back in the day, a small fry was, like, 50 cents or something. And then he'd give us, like, $21 worth of food. You know, he'd just, like, you know, it just, like, bag after bag after bag. And it's, like, like how far is this going to go? And uh, and then, you know, you did hand him over two quarters. And I guess we're yeah. even. That, that, I told you guys yeah. about my friend from Buffalo Wild Wings, right? Yes, he ruined the. Uh, uh, when, no. Wait, I, the story where uh, the waitress fucked up. So maybe not. Tell us. No, uh, it just all the stealing of food reminded me of this. Uh, <laughs> when I was a freshman in college, uh, someone I knew from my dorm worked at the Buffalo Wild Wings near campus. And he didn't work there all the time. And eventually it got to the point where he was like, you know what, fuck this. Like, I'm not making good money. I'm only going when there's you know no games on because I'm a student. I want to watch the games for real. So I'm just going to quit. And we're like, all right, cool. And so he quit. And his last night... He came back with must must have been twenty pounds of boneless wings in the plastic bags, and a ten like not ten gallon like a five gallon giant plastic pouch of honey barbecue sauce. Nice. And so he was uh, rushing a fraternity at the time, and everybody fucking loved him because he just was like, "Hey, I got enough fucking honey barbecue wings for the next three weeks." And if you look it up on their <laughs> menu, that's like. Four hundred dollars of wings or something <laughs> ludicrous that he stole, and I guess he. I was like, well, "How'd you how'd you get that out of there, man? Like, did you just sneak it out, or what'd you do?" He's yeah. like, "No, they got in the refrigerator. They got a huge bag of wings and then a big bag of sauce, and so I just said bye to my boss, and then I walked back there and took them and walked to my car. We were like, <laughs> there was no plan, and he's like, "No, I, w I didn't really even think it through till I got back to campus, and it was like, <laughs> so, not a fucking idiot, but." That's how it. So there was definitely no lock and key on the food at McDonald's. Um, there just wasn't any good food at McDonald's to steal. Like, like I didn't, I didn't want to take any of that home. But I did remember, like, you know, you get, you get a free meal. So I would make my own meal, and I would, t I would make like a Big Mac. But I, I like their grilled chicken breast. I thought that was the, the actual best thing on the menu because it was tasty. And I'd make like a, a double. I'd make a grilled chicken Big Mac. Uh, I always like coming up with like magical. I just make stuff, just add stuff to it. Uh, I definitely ate uh, more 
I ate more than they paid me. Like they were paying me whatever it was, five fifteen an hour or something like that. And I was eating like eight dollars worth of shit an hour. I had to be. That's a <laughs> that's a feat at McDonald's to out eat them. Especially old school. And McDonald's have you did you see the Reddit post of like McDonald's next or whatever they're calling it? Yeah, yeah. It's so what silly. Is it? it looked amazing. It was a really seemingly high end buffet McDonald's experience with an amazing salad bar and yeah. Like they're that was they were really changing their image. It was nothing like the McDonald's that I have in my head. That's not that so, because they're they're not doing as well as they used to. Um, I, I think they've had bad numbers the last couple last few years. So they're trying to figure something out. I know they just released some sort of new like dollar deal thing where you can get like four or five items for like four dollars or something like that. I think it's like five things for four dollars, something like that. So they're really reaching. But I, going I, high end is not their I feel like people dog on McDonald's so hard that they need to totally make it like the opposite. Like gosh, I've been telling the story a lot recently, but to to tell it quickly, when I first worked at Cisco, I used to kind of I don't want to say disrespect my manager but I would maybe point out their f- stupidity. Like I was much smarter than my managers and uh, they, every little thing they did, I'd just kind of poke at. Like if it's Wednesday and they're like, so two days from now, that'll be, um, um, and I, all I'd need to do is like make a look or like, like you, you're seriously struggling to figure out Friday is two days from Wednesday. That kind of shit I would do constantly. Like they just make little mistakes and I wouldn't let it slide. Eventually, they counseled me to fix it, and I did, but it took forever for people to notice the change. I was frustrated by that. They're like, yeah, well, you know, you like to poke at your managers. I'm like, no, I stopped. I stopped six weeks ago. You can't. Were you the resident badass on the floor at Cisco where, like, you're walking by and Pajit or whatever his name is, like, he goes, that is Matt. He does not give a fuck what the manager says. He's crazy. He's watching sometimes. He says all of these things. I cannot believe it. It was pretty cool. It was the dot-com boom, and engineers were like every bit as valuable as you know their bosses were. Uh, and uh, and I maybe took advantage of that. But anyway, so I cleaned up my act. I started being really good. And six weeks later, it was like I still had this reputation for being a douche. At McDonald's, I feel like they've got a similar type thing. You know, like they are the like McJob is a thing. No one says like Job King or Wendy Job <laughs> or whatever it is. It's Mick Job. That's like the job that everyone makes fun of. I think they have to pay extra just to get people to choose them over Wendy's. Uh, it, if they want to clean up their like dietary act and make it healthier, they need to go extreme. You know, like, people think of McDonald's as the food that makes you fast, right? The Super Size Me thing was based on McDonald's. Everybody freaking like throws darts at McDonald's, maybe deservedly, but. To fix it, McDonald's can't just be as good at, for you as Wendy's, which is not that good. They need to be as good for you as Whole Foods or something. They, they, Have you McDonald's. walked into McDonald's recently? Hmm. Like the redone ones? Like the, I, I haven't been to a shitty McDonald's. I <clears throat> can't even remember how long. All of them are nice if you go in on the inside. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I just... In my heart, I just kind of look down on McDonald's and say, like, I wouldn't eat at a place like that. Like, this temple here gets better food than that. But I might be off yeah, target. Yeah, Wendy's. Right? <laughs> Chick-fil-A. It's uh, better. Chick-fil-A is, is infinitely better than McDonald's. On, for the quality, it's got to be. I think I'm the only guy that still holds a grudge on their, like, Christian anti-gay hate bigotry. Like, even my but, daughter, but, who's, who you would think would be very stick to her guns about that sort of thing. A little fickle is, when it comes to that hate chicken. She's like, yeah. those bigots make a good sandwich. <laughs> yeah. That's what I, I say. Look, if they had, yeah, go ahead. They could literally be grinding gays up to make that chicken and I would still eat it. That chicken is so fucking good. It's sweet almost somehow. And the, the batter is different. The, the whole experience is different. I like the waffle fries. I like the sweet tea. I like the lemonade. I don't care what they're doing to it. If they're going after... Someone that if they were going after me personally, I would still eat their chicken. That's good chicken. <laughs> Put a you mask how on. McDonald's used yeah. to have on their bags. It'd be like uh, Mia Hamm's choice or like uh, Michael Jordan's pick, and it's like a ah. Big Mac, which he clearly didn't eat. Chick Fil A could have like the Grand Wizard selection, and it's like a <laughs> thing with his nuggets. Like I'd still eat it. It's great, I, and they're so I, nice to you there compared to every other fast food place. Like, they don't even say, uh, you're welcome. They say, my pleasure Dude, at the, the ones near me. Chick-fil-A franchises are cheap. Like, uh, as much as I hate o- the idea of owning a restaurant, I was like, maybe. Because you can get a Chick-fil-A franchise for, like, 400 grand. 
it, no. it, get a, they'll give you a Chipotle franchise. They'll pay you five hundred dollars just to open one at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Chick Fil A, like in like McDonald's, or I'm sorry, a good Wendy's location will be like three million dollars. I looked into this recently, and um, a Chick Fil A will be like a quarter million to four hundred thousand. It's like, what is the scoop with this? And they're way more profitable, like than a Wendy's. They're always packed. But uh, like they kind of select you. They make sure that you're a good Christian before you can open a Chick Fil A. You have to mm-hmm. like work your way up to owner at Chick Fil A, like Wendy's. They'll sell me a fucking franchise, you know. I'll be like, I don't know anything about owning a restaurant. No problem, you know. We'll send you to Wendy's Academy. At Chick Fil A, like you need to have worked the register for a while and be selected. They need to get to know you. It's a different culture. If I were going to open a franchise, it would be Cookout. I, I've said this before, but every time I go to it, the place is just called Cookout. Uh, they've got a really massive menu. Um, they do everything from hot dogs and hamburgers to like they got like a like fifty different milkshakes and. Uh, I don't know, quesadillas and just a little bit of everything, kind of like a jack in the box type place, but it's better. It's much better. And I've food? seen, yeah, kind of. Uh, but every time I've seen them open up, I've, I saw one open up in Anderson, South Carolina, and I saw one open up in uh, East Atlanta. And the lines for the first couple of months are so outrageous that it causes traffic problems. Like the, uh, the one in East Atlanta, you didn't even use the standard ordering technique. They used cones to make a giant line that just went to, around the borders of the parking lot. Uh, and when you, when you first got it in the, in the back of the line, if you're the last person, a guy comes to your car and hands you a paper menu. And you've got like five minutes to look over this menu before you get to the point in line. And you're in your car still, of course, where you get in point in line where someone says, okay, what would you like? And they write it down on a piece of paper and give it to you. And when you finally get to the speaker, you don't order. You hand it to another guy, and he says it into the speaker. And then you wait some more. And it's absurd, this line. And, and it literally, I'm not exaggerating, three in the morning, it's still like that. Like, and I'm just thinking, like, they're bringing in so much cash selling these hot dogs and hamburgers to these people. It's, it's ridiculous. And it was, it was true in both cases. And it is good food. Hmm, I haven't even heard I'd of get it. one of those. Yeah, yeah, I think they're small. I've only seen maybe three or four ever. I'd probably open a steak and shake, but I would break the mold with steak and shake and not hire any ex felons. <laughs> no ex felon. Have you ever been to a steak and shake? This isn't yeah. a joke. Like it's I've never been to a steak and shake and felt comfortable. Like I, I've never walked in and just it's a fifties style diner and you walk in and sit down and like You'll just look over, and the cook, the line cook, will be giving you like a surly look. It's like I didn't do anything to you, man. Like I, I'm just trying to get, and now I don't feel comfortable ordering. If you ask for one thing, like a special order, like oh, can, I want the ketchup and onion, you know, slider, but uh, just you know, throw some mustard on there too, or like uh, you know, to get rid of the onion. They'll just ugh. I had a, a waitress give me an audible groan once when I asked for extra Frisco sauce on my Frisco melt. <laughs> yeah, Frisco melt, uh, extra Frisco sauce because your fucking location always fucking rips me off with the Frisco sauce. Like you're rationing Thousand Island back there. Stop pretending that it's an actual sauce you made up. It's fucking <laughs> Thousand Island, and we all know it. Put it on there. And just oh, all right, sir. It's like, like I know you're on parole, but you know, come on, smile. Give it an ep- I'll be yeah, right give back. give me a smile. I think Five Guys would be a good one to get too because like they don't have a lot of. So I think Subways might be the best. Because Subway is so simple that there's not a lot of overhead. I feel like you could run a Subway out of a shack in your backyard. Uh, but Five Guys isn't much bigger. You know, They've just got a couple of grills and a fryer. Because all they do is French fries, hot dogs, and hamburgers. That's it. I they have they a do lot a of veg- uh, shit you can put on the burgers, though. Yeah, but I mean, all that stuff comes in bags and just goes in a little thing. You know, it's ketchup and... M- ketchup and mustard and, and like mushrooms and jalapeno peppers. Like That's all stuff that comes out of a bag or a jar. And I think they don't even freeze the meat, so they don't have the the meat storage issue. It shows up fresh every day. So that's got to be. Have you heard be... that thing about a? Uh, you know how Wendy's will say like fresh, never frozen. Yeah. Like apparently there's a, some kind of stipulation about what needs to occur before you can claim something is fresh, never frozen. And so Wendy's will have it frozen on their trucks. This could be some bullshit that I just read, but who knows? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But Wendy's will have it frozen on the trucks but make it so that by the time it gets to their respective franchises and chains, it's not frozen anymore. So hmm. it arrives to them not frozen. So they're allowed to say, 
this has never been frozen, you know? Yeah. I'm the Wendy's manager, to my knowledge, it just shows up slightly cool. But anyway. Well, their burgers are square because they don't cut corners. I, I went to Chick-fil-A today, right? And there's this, like, really pretty 18-year-old girl, like, at the window. It's a drive through Harder? What's that again? She's 18. <laughs> I, I'm at something like that. And uh, anyway, she's, like, super nice to me. Like, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, uh, like good. And um, she's like, all right, all right, how's your day going? I was like, fine so far, I guess. You know, that'll be 853. I'm like, cool, cool. Like, do you want any condiments? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm, I'm just, I'm fine. She's going on. Like, hi, are you sure? There's nothing here that, like, you want? Like, I could get you something? And I'm like, what the, f like, I'm 43, right? One of my superpowers is being invisible to 18-year-old girls. Like, that's, that, <laughs> that, that happens. It'll happen to all of you. And, uh, and she's being so sweet. And, and, you know, like, later on, like, you know, we get the money. She gives me my car back. Are you sure? No condiments, nothing here I can do for you? And I'm like, like. No, no, it's, this is a drive She just wanted a dirty old My man manager's like, watching and he thinks that I'm hoarding condiments, so just tell me what you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, right? no yeah. really, honey mustard, ketchup, yeah. whatever you want, I don't, sir. Just one, just one. She asked me at least three times to make sure my day was good, at least twice on the condiments and, and a couple of random, like, how you doings. And I'm like, man, this girl Sounds is really annoying. taking an interest in me. But just, she was like, so sweet about it. Here, right? She was so sweet about the whole thing. It, like, it felt like she was hating on me. But I know that can't be the case because... That's just Chick-fil-A. People I, at Chick-fil-A that work there, it's almost unsettlingly nice how are they... They how nice they are to you because I'm everywhere else you go you go to McDonald's you go to Bur there's a McDonald's that I go to every so often and I swear to God I have to be like uh, a carnival barker or like a bull auctioneer when they hand me my food where I'm like hey I like some ketchup like, yeah. <laughs> like <that's what> <laughs> they're just throwing they it at you slam that door closed and I and I'm ketchupless because <laughs> and like. It's like they open it halfway out to like sneak my bag, and if I tell them as they're putting the bag out, like I'd also like some ketchup, they look at me like I just told them I want you to run a half mile to the nearest ketchup fountain and get me a fresh glass of it. Like they <laughs> back in and. It's because you're white. Yeah, like well, I mean, it's the white people that do that too. It's just <laughs> a McDonald's of you know we're really cutting back on ketchup stores, and so try and get I them out of there. Where they can remember. I, I hear you, but this I isn't my talking. first rodeo at Chick Fil A, and this girl was just unnaturally nice to me. I I, I still don't have an answer for it. She uh... those big ketchups there, you know, the really big one that that's like you can either peel the whole pouch back and dip into it, or you can just peel the front off and like squeeze it out. Capitalist innovation, right there. They got the ketchups. Mm -hmm. Th they do have the best ketchups, by far. Chick Fil A oh, does. Apple fries. Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah, they don't give you bullshit packets. No, Taco the little Bell. cups that you like squeeze the the ketchup into, which are very uh, frustrating. It's for, my daughter Taco Bell tried to Taco Bell tried to not give me any hot sauce the other night for my twenty six dollars worth of Taco <laughs> Bell that I had. And, and I was just like, <laughs> the like, diet's like, and, done. That's like six. No, no, tacos. no. This is this is like a, this is like a week ago. I, I'm oh. I'm still eating pretty fairly healthily. Health, healthily, but but it's like twenty six dollars worth of Taco Bell. It's two bags, and one of the bags has a box inside of it. Okay, like it's a lot of fucking food. <laughs> And and she just hands it all to me, and I had already said like she was like, you want any sauce? And I was like, yeah, a little of everything, because I do. I want like five or six of every kind of sauce they got. There's no sauce in the bag. There's no there's no spork for my cheesy fiesta potatoes. There's no straws for my soda. So I just sit there, and like I'm just it's nighttime. It's like 11 p.m. and I'm just looking, <laughs> and nobody has come back, and maybe a solid 45 seconds has passed. So I just go. And just lay on the horn for like a solid three <laughs> seconds. You know, let's make sure they hear. And someone comes shuffling over the door, like, "Yeah, what is it? And some hot sauce and some ketchup and some, uh, some 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 straws and some napkins." And they they just looked at me like I was insane, and I was just like, "Yeah, now." Like I was yeah. so angry. I was so angry. <laughs> and he looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, "Yeah, now." Like, what the fuck? Like, I just bought twenty six dollars worth of like this bullshit food that you sell. Like, come on! I want my that's hot sauce. That's a huge sauce. sum of money at a Taco Bell, mm -hmm. too. Like, so that's no joke. That's like you're I keep one of the reiterating it because it's so goddamn much. You're Taco an entire Bell. construction crew worth of food. More, 
more. They've got a 10 for 10 deal. For $10, you can get 10 bean burritos. I got $26 worth of time. <laughs> Did you get 10 bean burritos in your $26 order? I don't do that. I, that I would do, have been disgusting. I've done it before. I've ordered 10. I've ordered five. I've like mixed it up because they will. And I've gotten like five soft tacos, three crunchy tacos, and you know two bean burritos, and then just eat it all myself. That's man. That's that's gross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I really love Taco Bell. And normally, I, the uh, Sharandra works up there. And I'm not just saying that. That's her name. Uh, Sharandra has been selling me Taco Bell for since I was 17 years old. For she's been Taco working at Deal. Taco Bell. And when she's there, I recognize her voice. I know on the on the on the speaker that I can talk talk quickly because she knows the menu. But if it's anybody else, I know it's a real crapshoot. I'm not. Do you ask for her, like, uh, is, is Sharandra there? This is a real ordeal. It'd be quicker if you could grab her. Well, she doesn't make the food. She's got those nails that are like crazy long and curved. So she actually has a hard time even handing me the bag. But she puts the stuff in there. I think those nails help her like really capture a lot of extra sauce mm. or something. But <laughs> she's just she's swiping like the card. One of those crane <laughs> machines that grab like yeah. <laughs> stuffed animals. Yeah, and stuff. They're yeah. crazy long. Um, but but yeah, I, I I hate just fast food employees. I know they're working for minimum wage and it's a shitty job. But it is different when you go to Chick-fil-A. They're happy, they're perky, and they're good looking. They have some sort of interesting hiring practice there. Cause like every time I go to Chick-fil-A, I see one chick in there that I'm just like, ah, I wish she was over here. I wish she'd get put my ketchup into my bag and, and that's not a clever euphemism either. I just I just wanted to come over here. You know, there, there's always some good looking chicks at Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Yeah. Chick-fil-A really <laughs> changed the game. They don't have that down broad look to them like Burger King and McDonald's employees have. Like if you're a Burger King, like those people, you can tell. They know that 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 this is life is uh, is on that downward curve. They're, they're like, oh yeah. Oh, some of them the walk around like they're the ghost of someone who was murdered at a Burger King six years ago and just uh, can't escape. That's now their destiny. Just whoa. It's yeah. sad in there, and I feel for them. Um, but but at Chick Fil A, everybody's having a good old time. They're they're like, everybody's enjoy high high five and everybody back there. It's Cold a bunch Stone of like is early the, is the peak of that kind of behavior. They sing. They they sing often zippity doo dah. They, they will most... sing as many times as you put change in, or maybe they don't do that anymore. They probably changed the policy to where they don't have, they only have to sing like once every so often because they used to do it to where every time anybody <laughs> at all they have to sing. Just put and some quarters in and keep them going. That's great. Yeah, I got yeah. micro aggressed at a Moe's Burritos uh, uh, the other day. <laughs> what they, they rolled my, they rolled the she rolled the burrito. All right, look first of all. Rolling that burrito up, whether it's Chipotle or Moe's or Willie's or wherever. We're talking about the big burrito place where you look through the glass and tell them what you want on it. They're all the same. If you don't have a professional burrito roller there who's getting that steamy burrito rolled up in, in time, then it's just shit. And so this lady, like, sticks her thumbs in it like she's trying to, like, blind uh, a, a Game of Thrones character and just gouge it. <laughs> and I was just like, and she's about to roll it up in the foil. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. She's like, what? Uh, you know, some salsa verde? And I'm like, no. You know what? Like, I was yeah. like, well, it looks like the burrito is torn. I can see the beans coming out. And she was like, oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to want a new one. She's like, okay, okay. So she goes and gets a new tortilla and flops it down. And she takes my old burrito and just flips it upside down on top of the new tortilla. And I was just like, no, that's not really a new one, is it? I was like, see, now all the ingredients are kind of homogenous and mixed together instead of creating that layer process that you're actually going for when you create the burrito. I didn't say all this at length, but <laughs> I was basically like, I want a whole new burrito. I want you to start from scratch here. And there was a little bit of a meltdown, but finally they gave me my burrito. Was it one? Uh, cause, wait, did they? She, so they took the burrito and they like kind of just lifted it up like a tissue and like let the contents pour onto the no, new. No, she uh, plopped it. She, it. she took this burrito. She unrolled my burrito. She unrolls my burrito, and it's just like a homogenous mixture of chicken, black beans, rice, pico de gallo, sour cream, cheese, and guacamole. Just like you mixed them together, and and she just flops it upside down on top of a fresh burrito, uh, you know, flour bur burrito tortilla, 
and and then she, that's supposed to be okay. That wasn't okay. Yeah, if, if that's if that's a microaggression, I was microaggressed a couple of years ago at a Qdoba when they did the same thing, but they didn't even because I've had it done before. It's happened to everyone at Chipotle, Qdoba, Moe's, whatever, where they fuck up your burrito and you're like, oh, can you just put it in a new fresh one? And they do exactly what you said. I've never minded it being a little bit mixed up. I don't care about that as long as it's a fresh tortilla that's not perforated or punctured. But what this person did, this girl, she must have been new because she punctured my burrito. And and she didn't have to be called on it. She immediately like went over, warmed up the next tortilla, grabbed it, brought it over. But she just placed the old burrito in the new burrito and then wrapped it on top. And it wasn't until I stopped her like, whoa, wait, 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 that, that, that's, that's two tortillas. That's two tortillas wrapped around my burrito. And she was like, that's yeah, not the other the one recipe. ripped. I'm like, uh -oh. I don't. I only want one to like, no, I, I could you please do it so that I only I'm very polite to people in food service. So I would not be rude. I, I was like, if I remember correctly, like, please, uh, I'd like it with only one tortilla, please. Otherwise, there's just too much bread. You know how it is. And she acted like it was she, she put on the smiley face, but I could tell she was a little pissy about it. But she that was definitely a microaggression. You should have said, I want a layer of, of melted cheese between the two tortillas. Then you're all good. See, that that's that's how I like to get mine usually anyway. Is uh, I get the burrito wrapped in a quesadilla. Ah, what? that's yeah, it's a quesadilla. Tell them to kind of jerry rig it into your food of choice, right there. No, they do that. That's a thing. You ask if you're like, hey, make it a quesadilla. They're like, oh, good choice, my friend. They know. They they just take another, <laughs> you know, they take the tortilla out and it's put the cheese on it, and then they roll your burrito up in that. So you've got. You know what they're really doing is they're looking at the people behind you in line, going, another fucking asshole ordering <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, is that what you want, sir? You want me to make you three entrees and just make it a big amalgamation of <laughs> yeah. all the same yeah. ingredients? Would you like me to do that? Okay, sir. Everyone, we're going to wait. We got someone here who wants three things in one. I know, sir. You're probably ordering. You have to get back to work. That's fine. This gentleman right here wants a case of burrito. <laughs> it's an $8 burrito. They can take their time and roll that fucker up. And, you know, and of course, I do the double meat trick where you don't tell them it's double meat until they've done the first scoop. So now they've set a level of scoop size so you right because you don't want two chicken. halves when you order double no no, no, no. they're, they're skimpy with that chicken like it's on their dime right <laughs> like like, like, like he paid for all that chicken another trick is if you're in that line if you're at a busy one sometimes they just have the same person going back and forth making burritos and whatever the whole time sometimes they have two that like switch yeah uh, always go with the biggest person preferably male that you can find if you can let someone behind you go up front if there's a small woman making it then Absolutely do that. Say, ah, I'm still thinking. You go ahead. And then she is going to make that guy or that girl the weak little burrito where she's like, oh, that looks like enough chicken for me. That should be enough chicken for this uh, adult man. And they dump it in there. No, you want someone who has a little bit of empathy when they're making your burrito. So they put that one scoop in and they go, would I be happy with that? I wouldn't be happy with that. And this gentleman right here is going to be happy with that. And we're going to keep this patron returning. So it gives a little extra, a little third scoop. It's only like six or seven cubes, but it's enough. Yeah. Anyway. New topic. I love this. <laughs> well, I was I put an hour on burritos and the different you places. You to push us out this topic is microaggressing me pretty hard right now. <laughs> I will not to shit on Chick Fil A, but their pickles they could be a bit girthier and they could be a bit more flavorful. They are weak yep. and they don't crunch. It you, the first bite with the pickle pulls the whole pickle out with it, and now you have one bite with pickle. There's nothing good about Chick Fil A pickles. They taste no. like I don't even know what that pickle is. It's not a sweet one. It's not a like garlic pickle. It's just some. It's like, a dill pickle. It's a pickle substitute of some sort. I'm not sure there were any cucumbers <laughs> killed in the making of that pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it. You have to admit, Kyle. Like when you go to a nice restaurant and they have the nice thick pickles on your burger. That's a totally different crunch and experience. Then I tell them not to the put on put them on there. Mm -hmm. I, I hate those bread and butter pickles. I hate any kind of pickle other than dill pickles. A thick dill would be better. A long sliced thick dill in an X shape on the, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, the long vertically sliced. Two of those on the Chick-fil-A sandwich instead of the two little bullshit ones. And they've they've gained a whole new market of meat. Not for me. <laughs> not for me. No, a I, whole I, I new really market do. of now, now I might go there even more. <laughs> I, really, I, I really do like the little pickles that have been like, that, like the pickle juice is soaked into the bread a little bit. Like, like um, I don't know. I really like the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. They're fucking delicious. There's a reason that they're, they're like so incredibly popular and, and profitable, yeah. despite the fact they're open six days a week. Yeah, and the service there is impeccable. Bullshit. Like I went to a Chick Fil A a couple weeks ago when I was doing that motorcycle course. We stopped for lunch, and there was a Chick Fil A nearby. And like 
the line was outrageous and it was two cars wide but they had like really pretty blonde chicks outside with ipads to take your order so like how do just, they do yeah. that like what better yet why can't anyone else do that related not questions right enough to afford it. when you go to like mcdonald's there's some like i don't know I, I'm, I'm trying to describe it politely some dude who looks like he doesn't hold down jobs for very long angry that you're disturbing him while he takes your order what you want what, what kind of person do you mean Woody? <laughs> it does, it's not about that right <laughs> but but you go to chick-fil-a and like there's some guy named noah with an ipad taking your order <laughs> gleefully <laughs> A guy named Noah. That is that is beyond fuck. That is the perfect description of a chick fil A. A guy yep. named Noah pleasantly taking your order with an iPad and then asking to refresh your drink. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he tells you to have a nice day, and you can tell he fucking meant it. <laughs> Meanwhile, at like McDonald's, like some guy with disgusting fingernails is dropping your change into your palm. Right. Tattoos up and down his or her arms, just like. Yeah. It, 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 yeah, it's a whole different thing. It is. Chick fil A wins for a reason. They're the most popular fast food chain in America for a reason. They got I, I question food. that. McDonald's isn't the most popular fast food chain. I, I I don't think it was by location. I think it was like polls of like what fast food chain do you prefer the most? And I think that's where they won. Because definitely by location if you go by location, Subway blows everyone out, I think. Like there's a subway every 60 feet almost everywhere. I so I looked it up. Um, McDonald's is one, Starbucks is two, Chick fil A is three. I didn't expect it to be that high. Taco Star Bell, Wendy's, Burger King, and I'm looking for Subway because I thought they'd be high too. Yeah, they have a ton of locations, they're really popular. I maybe they're not on they're not on this list, so are they not fast food? Are they something different? I'm not sure. I think I've been to one or two Starbucks in my whole life. I didn't even know they made whole meals at Starbucks. They do. They do. Uh, That's I, I got food poisoning from there once as well. I ordered some wow. sort of a like uh, uh, like a like an egg and cheese like sandwich breakfast sandwich they made, and and, and I got very sick from it. Oh, Subway's eighth. I didn't look carefully. Well, damn it, Woody. Wendy's is fifth. <laughs> well, this is a, a wrong list. I'd rather go to no. I was about to say I'd rather go to Subway than Wendy's. No, I'd rather go to Wendy's than Subway. I, yeah, yeah. When I go to Subway, I can convince myself. I can lie to myself that I've had a healthy meal. Yeah, it's like <laughs> just because it's a loaf of bread doesn't yeah. mean that I'm being bad, <laughs> I right? I'd like uh, you know some meat on a loaf of bread, and but throw some lettuce and tomato in there so I can lie to me. No, no, no more cheese than that. Come on, <laughs> I have. I've done. Of that course, I want three <laughs> kinds of mayonnaise. <laughs> when I've been like, and honey mustard. <laughs> If I'd known you were going to offer honey mustard, I wouldn't have said yes to all those mayonnaises. Do you have that bottle of oil that you could just douse over everything? <laughs> I always ask for a liberal application of the oil and vinegar. I have them screw the top off and dunk the sandwich in. The <laughs> <laughs> dunk it in like it's au jus. So I, I remember times like many years ago when I was like trying to lose weight and I'd go to a Subway and be like, ooh, the Italian cheesy bread. I'll have that one. And then you like look at it and you're like, I'm already so in the red. Uh, salami, d triple it. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, the amount you put. Think about a silly amount, and then double that. Like, <laughs> I want you to have to reach deep into that plastic little, you know, cutout thing you do. When I go, when I if I order something from there, I usually get like a six inch um, turkey, and I'll just get like veggies on there, and uh, I'll put mustard, and uh, that's about it. That'll I get a work. bunch of the jalapenos. I, I, the six yeah, inch I, is the key. It, it, like, yeah, for sure. It's half the calories, roughly, and it, the second six inches is almost like a a battle to get through. You know, <laughs> you, you get six inches in, and you got to get six inches more. It's uh, you're not even hungry, but coach, put me back in. I can finish the sandwich. Yeah, the, the yeah, yeah I, I understand. understand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's actually the second you're... foot long that's the problem with it. after that italian extra meat blend i'm just like oh i couldn't pass oh i guess i paid for it you know <laughs> the, that's um, the only really good sandwich there is the uh, the spicy italian i like I, look I, I think it's it's pretty low quality meat that's the real problem 
but um like i wouldn't get tuna from there because that's always gross i do like the meatball sub although i haven't had it in 10 years so maybe it's not even good anymore but as a kid that's what i would get i'd get a meatball sub i I've had never it 10 had years ago too and also liked it Pretty i mean like it, it's hard to imagine not liking a meatball sub it's Red sauce, it, meatballs, and cheese. What can it makes yeah, the bread better? Right? The mozzarella. bread can the be a little dry. Up, uh, the, yeah, the, yeah. yeah, but suddenly the bread turns into meatballs too. <laughs> this, is, this has all become so good. <laughs> and as a kid, I would also get the pizza sub, which is basically just pepperoni and uh, and cheese melted onto a fucking... <laughs> and I think maybe there's mozzarella sauce. Or maybe there isn't, but as a kid, I loved it. Dude, I who younger... came up with the fucking like, cheese sticks at the Domino's and Caesars and stuff? I have ordered it thinking like, oh, yeah, I'll get pizza and cheese sticks, right? Because I like cheese sticks. And then they give you like the pizza dough with pizza cheese on it that you dip in pizza sauce. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. This is just an unassembled pizza. You tricked me. Yeah, now I'm making me your do job all the work. for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've always preferred like Pizza Hut's breadsticks to their pizza. Like like whatever that shit they sprinkle They're on different? them, that, that like seasoning stuff. Is so huh. fucking good. I think it's just like Parmesan and garlic salt. It's something like that. Yeah, it's really. I could. I, I, I want to just like lick an entire order of them clean. Just, just, just lick all the seasoning off the breadsticks and then put it in somebody else's tray. I, I haven't asked in a long time, Kyle, because I know you like cooking a lot. Have you made any new dishes recently that have been like knockouts? No, no, not really. Like, like if I cook, it's usually like steak or chicken, something like that. But nothing, nothing crazy. crazy. Just oh, I, I did. Um, instead of uh, instead of rice, I've been using potatoes some. So I, I did this thing where that was like um, like ground beef and uh, jalapenos and onions with um, with uh, potatoes and made like a big stir fry type bowl out of it, and that was pretty fucking good. And I put a bunch of salsa in there too. That sounds good. Spicy salsa. Yeah, yeah, like like pretty pretty spicy, like chunky sauce. I just to add kind of a tomatoey sauce to the whole thing. That was pretty fucking good. But I haven't made anything fancy in a long time. Um, just stay busy so much. When I anything discovered that clip? like spicy salsa was the perfect side to everything you eat in like a traditional breakfast, it was such a great day. Where it was like, wait, I could just dump this on my eggs. I can like dip my sausage in it. I can dip my toast in it. Like it makes everything. Doesn't have many better. calories either. No, it's like almost none. But it's salty. Yeah, yeah. I mostly like like for breakfast. I usually do um, like grits with uh, with over. I think over easy eggs. I don't know. I don't know. It's I do like sunny side uh, sunny sunny side up eggs, and then I flip them to just sort of cook the yolk a little bit, and then I just toss those on top of grits. So you do to like the, point where the yolks are still medium. runny. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's runny yolks though, because I want to like mix it into the grits, and then I douse everything with Tabasco. I uh, I got into the habit of eating pickles, and you know, like I, I would pickles again, very low calorie. You know, I, I don't know for some reason I thought pickles were sinful because they taste good. That's usually a good you know a good indicator. Yeah. It turns out they're cucumbers with like salt on them. So I was just downing pickles, killing them, and uh, I think that led to that high blood pressure thing a few weeks ago because that. I, I, it, we don't have a jar it's fresh so there's like this little tupperware thing i'd eat like two-thirds of it and then be like well i'm not gonna leave like one third of one behind that's, yeah. that's not, that'd be rude it's not a serving so, so i would eat like a jar of pickles which is, again is not a lot of calories it's probably like 40 calories yeah. or something like it's not extreme and uh yeah, I've cut back on the pickles to cut back on the salt but you also would be like guzzling the pickle juice too Yes, but not with this stuff. That's bread and butter juice you want to you wanna guzzle, not the garlic pickle. I don't think you want to guzzle any of the juice. Oh, <laughs> nay, nay. Well, you may want to guzzle. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's delicious. It's wonderful and uh, probably good for you. I mean, the Jeremy only time agree. I've uh, drank pickle mm -hmm. juice was when someone gave me a pickleback shot, which is like Jameson with pickle juice in it. And like everybody always says that nonsense of like, oh, this drink? You can't even tell there's alcohol in it. And then you take one drink and it's like, I can tell. And yes. this one, you genuinely cannot. The pickle juice bends over the alcohol flavor <laughs> and fucks it in the ass. And it's like, you can't overpower me, bitch. This is what I should juice. do next drinking episode. Is it hard to Jeremy make? Drinks. No, you Jeremy. just mix a half shot of Jameson Sorry, with a little bit of pickle juice. And then like 
I guess, like mix it around a bit. And then the pickle Jameson juice. Jameson is dominant. whiskey? Yeah. yeah, it's Irish whiskey. I, and I, say it, a half a jar of Jameson, did you say? Does it come no, in no, a no, jar? No, like, like in a shot. Like half, oh. a, half a shot of Jameson, half a shot of pickle juice. and the So every juice, shot is half a shot. Basically. So you'll have to do more. Right. I don't know the actual mix. Actually, that's probably too much pickle juice. That's too much of a... Uh, you need to give the alcohol know. a fighting it's, chance. You know, <laughs> when Jeremy ordered those pickle shots at that fancy restaurant that time, he asked... The, the waiter was like, what? And he was like, it's a shot of pickle juice and a shot of tequila. And like, like he wanted a shot of each. And yeah. uh, and that's so that's what he was drinking. And so the, just to interrupt, like, Jameson's whiskey, though, right? I is. know because it competes with Proper 12. Yeah. yeah. But any, okay, any but he was I mean, tequila. The alcohol flavor tequila. will get dominated. Jeremy's by a, a bit of a enemy. connoisseur. I think I would lean toward uh, toward him on this one. Okay. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I know. <laughs> not at all. Well, Jeremy's Kyle's cousin for people that don't know. He is absolutely not Kyle's cousin. He might be Kyle's cousin. <laughs> he, I've, I've heard on good authority he's, he's from more likely to be, now. He's more likely to be Wing's cousin than he is mine. <laughs> His last name Jordan? <laughs> I just said I mean, that because people think it and Kyle hates it. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure Wing's related to Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's and a Jordan good line. Thinks <laughs> <laughs> one gender one, you know, he's almost, on the black almost, side <laughs> wings is so close to being too stupid to to be able to make fun of that that it's it, it's it i mean it's this close it's this close like he's almost he's that dumb? i think he's i think that if he were tested he could get some sort of government funding i think that they would find him to be a mentally incompetent be, uh, individual <laughs> Uh, I, I genuinely, no. believe, I genuinely believe him to be somewhere um, near the level of mental retardation.